Welcome to Henshaw's Knowledge Village. My name is Mark Belcher and today's video I would like to introduce to an app called CanEye, which has been developed to support neonatal babies or children that's at risk of having a visual impairment. If that's something you're interested in, you come to the right place. So let's get to it. There are 5 million children around the world that suffer from low vision and the app is developed by medical doctors, ophthalmologists and occupational therapists to include functional exercises to stimulate the sense of vision and provide some very specific developmental support. It does that in three modules which I'm going to talk about now. Uh, also on the screen I'll show you some examples of how that actually looks to the benefactor. So let's get to it. So the app consists of three modules. The first, and they're developmental as well, so you don't kind of go to module C until you've done module A. Um, so module A is aims at creating or improving the perception of light, focus, and tracking. Um, and essentially it does that in black and white. Um, so the first measure really is about lights and the perception of light. It then moves on to something called stripes. So that's vertical lines or even checkerboards. So that's one of the exercises. The third exercise is shapes. And again, that's in black and white. So that's squares and triangles and circles. Um, and then the last one is about faces. So that's giving a perception of um, male, female, dog, just different kind of um, silhouettes of objects. Okay, module B is all about perception of shape, colour and movement. So this uses colour now and it also uses um, not static images like it did in the first one. This is all about moving images, like a moving chimp face on a black background, for instance, is one of the such exercises. Um, there's four in total. They're called mixed art, colourful shapes, colourful faces, and moving finish. And that's where the, move, the, the items are moving around the page. So we can really clock if that child's uh, tracking that image or not. So module C bears fruit from the exercises from module A and module B. So this is not advised because of some gameplay activity for children under one year old. Because essentially this is all about games and it's helping some, the child work through hand and eye coordination. So there are a series of games and I think there's about nine. So I'm just going to talk through some of them. So one of them is called Pop Me, where balloons kind of float on the screen and the child needs to touch the screen to burst the balloon. The other one is Pat Me. So Pat Me is where um, images of... Uh, dogs and cats come on the screen and the child's got an opportunity to kind of pat that little uh, furry thing. Uh, and then the last one is Catch Me, where kind of furry cute animals come onto the screen and the child's got an option to, uh, to touch that animal. So that's module C. Um, again, I need to reiterate that you need to do the exercises in both module A and module B. And these exercises are all kind of time-based as well, so it tracks your movement. It does give you a warning about doing too much screen time, because that's a no-no for all of us, including a little bit of bands. Um, so that is, um, that's Can I, um, an app developed for neonatal babies and children suffering with visual impairment. So for the keen eye amongst you, you would have noticed there actually is a module four. But unfortunately, I can't really talk about that because it's not an option on the app that I've got. If you want to know more about this app, please get in touch with the Can I team. Uh, they're available to answer all your questions and give you an understanding how you can get that into your practice and or get it into your home. So the app isn't free. There is a cost involved in the app. Um, and currently it's around £99 per annum, uh, but obviously that can change. Um, so that's Can I. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. As always, subscribe. And if you think this is of use, get in touch with the Can I team. So until the next time, I'll see you then. Our videos are helping people across the world. 
If you found them useful, please donate on our website so we can keep making more videos like this in the future. Henshaws, supporting people with sight loss and a range of other disabilities to go beyond expectations.